Good morning from Casper, Wyoming. Well, Lloyd had a couple questions there regarding the lift axles, so we're gonna measure these up for Lloyd. And right now we're gonna lift the mix middle axle. I wanted to do this while I got a good load on here. We got 46,000 pounds. So I just wanna measure. He's wanting to know if there's much scuffing issues and uh, how high off the ground these come. So we're still playing with them a bit. I can adjust them, of course, with their leveling valve back here, depending on how much ride I want to give it. And I just haven't found quite the right spot yet. We do get some scuffing. When I got the spread going, I get like zero scuffing on these tires. But if I lift that axle up and I'm just running on a tandem, we do get a little bit of scuffing on here because I tell you what, some of them approaches, like the bridge approachments, what do you call them? You know, where you approach a bridge, they are rough. And some of them are like a, almost like two feet tall, it seems like, so you hit them. So sometimes you do catch. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, we'll measure this. And then when I'm empty, we'll measure both these and we'll see uh, how we're looking here. So let's take a look. I got uh, tape measure here. It uh, definitely doesn't strike fear into the hearts of tape measures everywhere, but uh, just remember boys, it's not the uh, size of the tape measure that matters. It's uh, how stiff the tape is. <laughs> Okay, what do we got here? Can you see that? I can't see. Three and a half inches. So we're up about three and a half inches. All right. I'm at my unloader here. I'm just monkeying around with some stuff. I'm just at uh, customer here, so let's go get unloaded. Well, we're done for the day. We made it here to Kit Carson. That's what that says. K-I-T. Kit Carson, Colorado. Let's grab my uh, barking cricket tape measure and let's go tape measure some stuff up. Oh, it's still windy. It's been at my back though, so we got emptied. It's funny how I just kind of go from one sentence to the other and I don't stop or pause or nothing. Beautiful day. I got emptied. We got a couple left. And uh, yeah, so here we are. Hopefully you can hear that. Let me go on the other side. Oh, got to take that nail out. I love oil tools. Look at the junk they leave everywhere. Huh? Look at all that. I had him up, these guys up front there, behind all that big stuff. Okay. So we're light. We got almost 12,000 up there. These guys are about 2,200. We got about 15,000 pounds. I could just run with the two up. But like I said before, a couple videos ago, I don't like the stopping power that I got with just the rear axle and the truck. So I run with the tandems. So we're kind of level. Let's see what we got here. Oh, four and a quarter. And let's just see. I'm in Kit Carson, Colorado, and I've had this up all the way from Casper, Wyoming. So let's see. Anybody that's gone through Colorado knows the roads are bad. Oh. Might have been a little scuff. But it's just, it's not scuffed, it's just dirt. So maybe that was actually just from sitting. There's no scuff marks. As you can see, I run with these up all the time. The scuffs aren't, there's no real bad scuff marks. These are cupping. Who the hell knows why? You never know with tires. All of 
all the pressures are good you know i got alignments you know the bearings are all good everything's new ah uh, you never know freaking tires okay four and a quarter there we got to wash the damn trailer there's creepers it's dirty anyway oh on a side note the parts came in so we're going to replace this whole bumper piece you just cut it out and then they're going to replace this whole side piece and uh should take them a day they said okay so let's go in here so we just got the front one up right now let's put up the middle one there we go in the big open area here hopefully you can hear me there's not much here in Kit Carson but I am officially out of hours as they say so like I said I've been adjusting I've been adjusting leveling valve, that gold valve there, kind of seeing where our bags back here, where they ride best and where it's going to ride best in the road. I apologize if the wind's bad, nothing you can do. Alright, we got my stiff tape here, I think we're there about four and a half, it's still going up a little bit. Still about four and a quarter, so that ba that metal one goes up a little more, but could also just be where we're sitting. We're not on flat ground, we're just on gravel here. So I would say we're both about four and a half. I'm not bending down that far, so take my word for it. So then, yeah, and then we could also increase air there. these things because man not even a year I should have painted them right off the hop with some kind of good Endura I thought that's what they had on here but maybe it was just a uh, black primer so we're gonna paint those things up and under there the brackets that attach to the swing arms so, so that's where we're at nail in the in the end just holding them uh, if you go back a couple videos I had them two boards here with another one stacked on top to make that whole pipe level I just put nails back here and back there just in case that bottom board wanted to work its way out I forgot to pull that nail out look at the garbage you know like what the fuck? Like seriously you guys? Unreal. Tarp's doing good. Tires are doing really well. Got a different one there because they lost one of my caps. They lost one of these. So we had, they had to use one of them. And I sent one of these off to get recap, so. So yeah. I will be changing that out so it'll be the same uh, tread as all these other ones. One of these days, when I get back there, it's holding up pretty good. Alright, hope all is doing well. I'll let you know tomorrow what I get. Bye for now.